What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 ounce silver bars. We got lots to discuss. It's been a while since I put out a video. So um, yeah, let's have that discussion. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. So please do your own research before making any investment decision like buying things like silver, gold, any of the stocks or strategies I discuss on the channel. It's only for entertainment purposes only. Do your own research. Okay, so uh, today, yeah, uh, Powell said prepare for more pain ahead. Um, you know, the, the U.S. Fed is uh, committed to uh, fighting inflation. And uh, we'll see where all this goes. So far, where this has gone is gold is uh, 1750, uh, silver 1893. So both are off. They're kind of, you know, a little July bounce. Um, in terms of the broader market, uh, the Dow's down uh, over 550 points, 32,737. S&P 500 is 4112, down 86 points. NASDAQ's 1213 or 12,310, down 328 points. I mean, all this, um, I guess I should mention Bitcoin's at $20,710, uh, down $892 uh, or 4.13%. Um, yeah, so all this craziness, um, I've been in the market to buy, uh, some more silver. Uh, I was looking, uh, back in July, I missed it. I, uh, I could have picked up, um, you know, some Canadian maples for, for a pretty good deal. I think they were around 32 and change Canadian. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I passed on that and then I missed the big run up or I don't know how big of a run up it was, but probably it jumped about, you know, three or four bucks an ounce. Uh, and then uh, just just last Friday, I saw um, TD Bank. Uh, they were having a sale on um, on their own kind of branded rounds and bars and stuff. So they had a one ounce round, a one ounce bar, and a ten ounce bar. And as you can see here, I have this collection of ten ounce bars: a silver gold bull, uh, Royal Canadian Mint, uh, which is probably I'd say my favorite bar. It has a nice matte finish. It's four nine fine. You know, it has all the security features and that. Uh, Scotiabank bar, which I was kind of uh, happy to get. And I've always wanted to pick up one of these uh, TD 10-ounce uh, bars. Um, but, you know, they were 400 Canadian a year ago. And I picked this one up for about $300. Um, that, to me, was a pretty good deal, 30 bucks an ounce. I mean, there's premium in silver and stuff like that. Uh, but it, it allowed me to... Uh, basically uh, add more weight to the silver stack. You know, these 10 ounce bars are really, really good. I like them. Um, you know, I, I prefer the Canadian maple uh, one ounce coins, you know, but I tend to purchase those in, in, in tubes of 25. And just like a, a combination of a lot of different things, I guess. Um, you know, I didn't have the money to purchase the tube, but I did have, you know, a few hundred bucks that I was looking to put it into something. I thought gold, uh, that might pick me up, you know, a one tenth ounce gold, uh, maple or, uh, or, or this thing came along. I saw this and I thought, Hey, you know what? Silver is, you know, still way down from its all time high, even, even from 30 bucks an ounce in, in, in July, 2020, it's still way down from there. Um, we know that uh, physical silver is uh, is becoming more scarce. Um, you know, it's being pulled off of uh, the Comex and stuff like that. So it's probably worth stacking a little bit if you don't have any or if you don't have a lot. Um, and I don't have tons and tons and tons of silver. I guess I don't know how many ounces. Maybe a few hundred ounces I have. I don't. I don't know exactly. Um, mainly because. I have um, a lot of silver dollars and um, some of them are, are pure silver, uh, others are 50-50, some are uh, sterling silver. So it's really tough to kind of figure out exactly, you know, what what's my weight. So if I just look at though my pure um, silver, uh, you know, my, my, kind of like my stackable metals, I, I'm guessing I'm around maybe 200 ounces, maybe a little bit better than that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I've, uh, in my stacking adventure, I've, uh, I've preferred uh, to stack uh, physical gold versus um, uh, too much silver. But uh, you know what? Opportunity knocked and, uh, and I accept it. So this is kind of similar to the Scotiabank one on the back. You have the, the TD uh, on the back. You have the Scotiabank logo. 
So, um, yeah. And it's basically kind of the same bar as the Scotiabank bar. I mean, you got the TD, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, their logo, 10 ounces Troy fine silver, three nine fine. And then you have this um, serial number. I do kind of like the serial number, TD0050113. Just kind of nice to have. Comes in a nice sealed package. Um, again, you know, it's, uh, you know, and it's heavy too. It's nice. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty proud to add that to my stack of bars. Maybe I'll, I can kind of make a little bit of space for it. Um, yeah, so let's uh, just kind of discuss. It's been a while since I put out a video. I hope you guys are all um, doing well. I hope you guys are preparing financially, you know, getting some, some of that debt paid down. Uh, you're putting away a little bit of cash. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you can, you're putting, a little, putting away a little bit of uh, metal, like gold and silver. Um, I am kind of in the market to pick up another uh, ounce of gold. Um, just not sure when that's going to be. I got some, uh, I got like property tax bill coming up. So I have to, uh, you know, pay that. In, uh, and uh, and then, you know, I'm just kind of looking for, uh, for the opportunity. Uh, it looks like these metals are probably going to come down a little bit more. I see Bitcoins coming down, you know, stocks. Um, you know, basically we had this bear market rally off the lows of uh, July and June. And uh, I am still, I still got a lot of cash on the sidelines and I'm kind of looking to uh, put some money to work. Um, oil, if it comes down a bit more, it's kind of looking interesting. It's just really hard to uh, to uh, pontificate, I guess, figure out where, where all this stuff is going. Even like the experts, um, they're still on the still on the fence. They still don't know. So anyway, um, it's just going to be a short video today. Um, I just want to kind of showcase that uh, 10, 10, uh, 10 ounce uh, silver bar. And I um, hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Hope you guys are getting a little bit of a break and relief. And uh, um, hope you guys are kind of preparing for what's uh, for the uncertain future, you know, um, the financial uncertainty and uh, I hope you guys are doing things kind of within within uh, reason within limits um, you know it, it's great to stack things like gold and silver um, but you know you need to be in it for the long term and you need to kind of do it uh, not to the detriment of other areas of your finance you know I mean if you're if you're in debt and you get tons of bills to pay just pay that stuff off first um, you know, it's kind of a nice hedge if you have a lot of money in, in, in stocks and investments and that type of thing. Um, yeah, it's good to have a little bit of this uh, gold and silver, you know, on the side kind of as a hedge against uncertainty, against, uh, you know, kind of the craziness um, of inflation or deflation. It's and, and just to have something that's kind of outside of the system. Again, that's that's basically why. Um, I'm doing this. Um, that's why I, I'm, I'm a collector, I guess, first and foremost, but I do appreciate, um, the importance of having wealth that's outside of, you know, the financial system, tangible wealth. Um, I'm actually currently reading a book, uh, that I would highly recommend to everybody. Um, uh, there's, uh, uh, another YouTuber, Maneko64, if you're watching this, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's great. He does all these cool videos. He's out of the UK. He does it every day. Um, anyway, it's uh, uh, he, he's always recommending this book. I, I've been looking for it at the library. I've been reading tons of books on finance this year, financial history, economic history. Anyways, it's called uh, When Money Dies by Adam Ferguson. Um, the nightmare of deficit spend, uh, what is it? Deficit spending, debt, and hyperinflation and stuff like that. And it's just a, an account of the hyperinflation in the Weimar Republic. And um, it's just kind of really cool. I mean, it's, you know, that was a historically unique uh, example, um, you know, that had some, you know, unique uh, factors and circumstances uh, of the time. Uh, but it's definitely like a very interesting read because there's few books that that I've come across that have actually dealt with you know hyperinflation 
Um, a lot of uh, the financial history, the mon- monetary history and stuff that I've read, it's it's all it covers things like the you know stock bubbles, property bubbles, you know the collapses, the depressions, the kind of deflationary things. But um, very few actually cover uh, inflation, hyperinflation, and that type of thing. So it's definitely worth a read. Um, again, it, it is an extreme example. You know, that's not to say that it can't happen, but I just feel like um, hyperinflation is is quite unlikely in this day and age, unless you're in some crazy, you know, banana republic or something like that. Um, but that's not to say it can never happen and certainly high inflation can happen as we've been sort of witnessing. So, um, anyways, yeah, it's definitely a good read. Um, I, I might throw up a link to, to it in Amazon, uh, below. Um, other than that, enjoy the weekend, have a great summer, check out my website, my road to wealth and freedom. The link as always is in the description down below. And, um, uh, yeah, keep stacking, keep on uh, investing and keep on uh, and keep on watching these videos. Cheers.